Winning awards for artistic creations is a strange concept. It doesn't seem so at first. It seems straightforward and endearing. Those who make the best art should be recognized for their work, and it will inspire others to create better art. It's also in the case of the Academy Awards, a matter of a long-time tradition of over a hundred years. What's so hard to understand about that? I get it. But just like we take a closer look at the meaning inside movies on this podcast, you could take a closer look at some of these terms by asking what they actually mean. What is good art? What is art at all? How does one decide that one movie is best among all the others? What happens when politics is part of the equation? Does that affect the merit of the art or or the value of the award? Is this why we make movies in the first place? To win awards that make us and our movies seem superlative to others? I get why these questions are cringe-inducing. I have close friends that are the most ardent fans of award shows, and other friends who would rather watch paint dry. And I love all of my friends and respect all of their opinions. While it may seem a noble project to award movies, it could just as easily be insulting to the entire art of movie making itself. Now, all of that being said, I think that uncertainty, unfairness, politics, competition, and distrust are all built in to this mysterious and intimidating journey that every artist will forge for themselves. We have to take on the world by creating our art. And in response, the world will take on our art by criticizing it, hiding it, and even destroying it for so many possible reasons. Or, the world might take to our art and accept it, discuss it, and be changed by it. Heck, it might even just celebrate it. It is in this spirit that I personally found this 2024 Oscars a success and a pleasurable watch. There was a celebratory nature to it, with cross-cultural representation like Native American traditional music from Killers of the Flower Moon. There were touching speeches by several winners like Divine Joy Randolph, pouring her heart out about her life changing from an acting class that her mother suggested that she take at her humble beginning. There was touching homage to other practitioners of the same craft, as in those five Best Actor or Actress winners introducing and uplifting each nominee. And there were moving performances of songs and funny moments in between. There was a sense of calm, respect, and dignity about this Oscars. Of course, it does help in that regard that we didn't see anyone get sucker-slapped on the stage this time around. We're always thankful for small favors, aren't we? The films this year that were part of this extraordinary ceremony were deserving. The lush and opulent design of Poor Things, as well as Emma Stone's incredible performance. The ravishing music, mesmerizing performance by Killian Murphy, and altogether symphonic and grandiose textures of Oppenheimer, which are as awe-inducing and powerful as an atomic bomb and the gorgeous, forlorn, existential, melodic whispers of What Was I Made For from Barbie were among the many inspiring works of art recognized that night. There is a tremendous consequence in recognition. Being seen, heard, as artists is what amplifies our voices to otherwise deaf ears. Consolidating our deepest yearnings for expressing what lies in our souls that could otherwise not be accessed by those around us. This is why, at the end of the day, no matter how imperfect and misguided it may seem, I am grateful for the Academy Awards. It provides, for everyone, a means of recognition of some of the most inspiring and brilliant artists and technicians of our time, and it codifies the splendor and awesomeness of cinema. That is what we live for as artists. 
It's what we work all of our careers for. One might even go as far as to say, it's what we were made for. 